hello guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is olipa katongo kunda and in case this is the first time that you're seeing my face on your screen hi let's get straight into this video today we're going to be making a very simple three-step chapati literally three steps 10 to 15 minutes and you're done so let's get right into it first things first this recipe calls for all-purpose flour blue bun butter some vegetable oil salt and of course a dish that we're going to use to mix everything in So now that we have put in our ingredients, we're going to add just a little bit of hot water, about two, maybe 150 milligrams. So this water is hot but not boiling. And then we use our spoon to just mix it all in. Any trick that I learned to know whether your dough is at the right texture, right consistency, right firmness, is when you touch it, it should not easily transfer onto your hands. So once you touch it, once you play around with it, it should not easily transfer onto your hands. Of course, it's going to continue to be sticky because that's the nature of the dough, but it should not stay on your hands. So this is what we are looking for. So now that we have kneaded the dough to perfection, I'm going to add just a teaspoon of vegetable cooking oil. We mix that in. And then we let it rest for 10 minutes. So now that our dough bowl has completely rested, <laughs> it must have been really tired, but now it's rested. We're just going to add a little bit of flour on a board. I'm using a um, cutting board or a chopping board, but you can use any clean and flat surface that you have. 
I'm just placing it down so that I can chop it into smaller pieces to help me with um, making it more manageable for me. So I'm going to try to break it apart into about eight pieces. So each one of these becomes an individual japati. Use a rolling pin, a bottle, any round, firm, strong object that you can use. And of course, we've already added flour to our bottom and we just begin to roll it out to make sure that it is flat. Ideally, we want this to be round in shape. However, I don't know if they're actually going to become round because it's so difficult for me to achieve the round shape. I never usually like achieve a nice round chapati, but I'm going to do my best. And that is the best I could do. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're going to heat up a pan. You need to use a flat surfaced pan, the flattest you can possibly go, or one that can evenly distribute heat. So I'm using this pan because it's really heavy and it evenly distributes heat. So then you just throw one of them on there. When I flip it over, I add just drops of cooking oil. 